What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So let's solve this problem. So we're given this rod with a diameter of two inches, and it has these four moments acting on it. So hopefully this drawing is doing the, any other problem justice, but I found I have another image on the screen you can look at. But it's basically 700 pound-feet clockwise, then 900 pound-feet counterclockwise, 500 pound-feet clockwise, then 300 pound-feet counterclockwise. So we want to find the maximum shear stress in region CD. Oh, I totally forgot to label it. It's just uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Right, so CD is here to here, and DE is here to here. So let's go ahead and solve for that. So the equation we're going to be using is maximum shear stress is equal to the moment, basically, the torque in each section, times the radius, divided by the polar moment of inertia. So we're going to need to solve for these things. First of all, let's find what the torque is in each segment of the region, right? We're trying to find CD and DE. And a useful tool we can use for this is to make a little diagram like this. So this is going to be X, right? This is as we go out. And then this is torque, right? So this is the torque in each segment. So we're going to break it up into the sections, right? So this is A at the beginning. And it's going to be B, C, D, E, F, E, F, not D, right? So this is B, C, D, E, and F. So we want to find what's the torque in each one of these sections. Well, we're assuming because we're free to rotate on both ends that they're going to be zero and the outer ends. So A to B is going to be zero. So we're starting out here at zero. Then B is 700 pound feet. So that's going to be positive 700. Um, or it doesn't matter which way we draw it, but let's just draw a direction to be positive. So this is 700 from B to C as you pass that first torque. Then we get to see, and this 900 pound foot is pushing the other direction. So we need to subtract 700 from this, so we're going to go down to two, negative 200. Then at D, we have 500 pound feet, and it's going the other direction. It's going positive, so we're going to add 500 to that negative 200 to get to 300. Then we have 300 pound feet at E, and that's going to push us back down to zero because it's pushing against that positive. So we're going to be at zero from E to F and zero to F. Uh, I guess F is the zero, so. All right, so now we're looking at this, and now we know what the stress is in region CD. Right, CD is negative 200, and DE is positive 300. So all that's left in this equation is to find the polar moment of inertia, which is J. So let's solve that up here. J for a rod like this, without a hole in the center, is just pi over two uh, radius to the fourth. Or you might see C to the fourth, but that's radius. So let's plug in a number, so it's gonna be pi over two, now radius is going to be half of that diameter, so it's going to be one inch to the fourth. And we can just say that our polar moment of inertia is pi over two inches to the fourth. So now all that's left to do is to plug it into our equation and find our answers. So starting with the first one, let's find CD. So we're going to find torque max in CD. So we're going to put in that torque for CD. So we're just to make it positive because it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. 200. This is in pound-feet, so because it's in pound-feet, right, pound-feet, we need to convert it to pound-inches, so we can do PSI. So we're going to put a 12 here. Then C, this is our diameter, I mean, not our diameter, it's our radius. So our radius is 1 inch, so we can just put in a 1 here. And then J is what we found to be pi over 2. Plug all of this in. You get that it is 1530 PSI. All right, let's find our max in DE. And E is equal to, okay, so now we're using uh, the torque in DE. So we know that it's 300 there, so we're gonna put in 300 pound feet. Now we're gonna put in a 12 to convert to inches. Radius is one, and then that polar moment inertia is pi over two. And you're gonna find that this in DE is equal to 2,000 290 PSI. And those are our two answers. So yeah, that's how we solve this problem. Not too tricky. So thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the next video. We're going to find the absolute max in the bar. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.